you see this peace that i have the joy that i have i have it because knowing that the word of god will forever remain sure like the bible said heaven and earth will pass away but the word of god will not fall. <laughs>
you know the pain of labor everything is still fresh so the bible is telling us sienna it's a question you chose to us like you know the way i like reading my bible i read and i pause and i said ask myself the question as you go along can a woman forget her nursing child is a question for you to answer put it down in the comment section and let me know maybe my own opinion may be different from yours yes some women can forget their nursing baby on or something something but to me i say to me that answer to that question first of all is no it goes on and have no compassion of a son of her womb first question can a woman forget her nursing baby no the second question can a woman forget the son of her womb can a mother forget her son question when you read your bible post and ask yourself question before we go down to what god is trying to tell us as you read that you have a mother you have a you or you are a mother yourself or you have an auntie who is a mother you know the way they relate within the, their babies within their children so those two questions can you ponder on it and try to understand it a bit can a woman have no compassion on her child the child of her womb can she not then the bible went on and said even those may forget but i will not forget you you know we are all human there's a possibility that yes let's just leave it as we are all humans we have limits so as a mother or as a nursing mother there's a possibility that you may forget your your child for a minute when you're tired you're exhausted you may forget your child for a minute a mother may forget her child for a minute but now god is telling you even though even though some people may forget that but god himself is telling you that he will not forget you can you just pause for a minute like i said earlier all we all human beings have limits me that is talking to you i have my limits any other person reading this video they have their limits but god does not have his limits god does not have limits so take that word stand upon it you see god said to me comfort Emmanuel Ahamefula, that he will not forget me. Can you go around saying that word to yourself today? No matter what the situation is, no matter what it is that is facing you, forget about everything and just say that to you to yourself. Even if my mother will forget me, even if my brothers, my sister, my husband, anybody, my friends, everybody will forget me. But the Bible is telling me today in the book of Isaiah 49 verse 15 that God, my creator, will not forget me. If God does not forget me, what else do I need to worry about? No. That's why this song, you got time and season in your hand. That's like one of my favorite songs ever. And I have so many testimonies from that song waiting to be shared. There is time and season for everything in life. Maybe the reason why that particular thing that you're thinking God has forgotten you about is because maybe it's not yet time for it. It's not yet the season for it. But I'm just here to encourage whoever that needs to hear this today is that God can never forget you. Human beings may forget you. Even you yourself can forget yourself. Yes. A word for somebody. You may be carried around. You may be carried away by caring for so many people around you and you forget yourself. But God is telling you today that I will not forget you. I don't want this video to go long. Maybe I'll pause here. Maybe I'll pause here and we'll continue. The verse 16, like I said, is from the beginning, is 15 to 16. So maybe I'll just read the second verse because I don't want the video to be so long. The second, the second part of it says, Behold, I have scribed you 
on the palm of my hand. Your words are continually before me. That's God telling you that you, that me, let's say, let me, let me use myself, that me, comfort. God has scribed, has written his name, has tattooed my name, comfort, in his hand. Isn't the word of God so beautiful? It's so assuring and so calming that when you read the word of God, the peace and the joy you get from reading the word of God, you cannot get it from anywhere else. That's why I encourage you. Make your Bible your best friend. Make your Bible your best friend. Because I tell you, challenges will arise. Surely, difficulty may arise. Things may go wrong at some time. But the only thing that can give you the comfort. You know when the Bible talks about the peace that passes all understanding. You don't get it anywhere apart from the word of God. Make it a habit of reading your Bible. Make it a habit of opening your Bible daily. Daily. And reassure yourself. Do you know the peace that you get from knowing that God has scribed, God has written your name in his palm? <laughs> ah, thank you, Jesus. Do you know that peace, the peace that will rest upon your soul? You go about reading this scripture to yourself. That's why I said I paste it in the front of my door when I'm going out. So whatever challenges I may face out there, before I go out to face it, I remind myself that God is aware of me. He can never forget me. And he said, behold, he has scribed my name in the palm of his hand. He has tattooed my name before his hand, in his hand. And my issue and my worries, my pains, my fears is constantly before him. So what will I do? I dance. I move, I rejoice knowing that with time and season, everything will fall into place. Thank you guys so much for reading the Bible with me today. Like I tell you guys, this is one of my, the, the favorite things I love doing in my channel and I've missed it so much. But today, with God's grace, not by my own ability, but with his grace and his mercy upon my life. I'll bring it back again. I will continue to share this scripture together. I hope you guys have been blessed listening to this scripture today. Like I said, I'm going to put the scripture in the comment section. In case if you have a different version of the Bible from the one I have. So we, you read it and understand, meditate on the word of God. Like I said, the word of God is so beautiful. And the peace that it gives you, nowhere else you can find it. It is this peace that I have, the joy that I have. I have it because knowing that the word of God will forever remains sure. Like the Bible said, heaven and earth will pass away. But the word of God will not fall to the ground. So... Read your Bible. Make your Bible your best friend. Stay firm in Christ because with him, with God, we can be naked and we will never be ashamed. Thank you all. Stay blessed. And I'll see you soon in our next episode of Reading the Bible with Jesus. Stay blessed. Bye.